Well, you guys, sorry about the lighting. This is where I'm currently positioned. It's a lot of sun, but I just wanted y'all to see that Big Daddy is coming on out of the shop today. Also, by the way, if you guys are ever in the Memphis area, West Memphis, Arkansas, make sure you guys check out ELH Truck and Trailer Repair. We got Big Daddy in two days ago. He was done in a day, but it took an extra day because we ended up getting brake chambers, all the brake chambers done, and we had to wait another day just to get it, but it only took them like an hour to do it or less, but that's Big Daddy coming out the shop. He has his, he's plated, insured, if the sticker, everything up, he's ready to go. He got his fifth wheel grease, y'all. <laughs> he got new tires all around, except for the steers. New brakes, new brake chambers. Uh, Got the fan clutch rebuilt on it. Got, uh, what else? A new air horn a new it's a whole list of stuff that got done to big daddy y'all and know that they did it in one day and now jason's gonna be picking up a load tomorrow this is him backing out y'all <laughs> omg big daddy let's go let's go y'all look at him you better keep it together i gotta put that dash on y'all i'm about to have to follow jason so let me stop the video so Jason is stopping and he is putting on our DOT sticker. Let's see where he decides to put it at with his raggedy self. He don't even know he being filmed. He put it on the chrome. Just like a company driver. <laughs> okay, so this is us on our way to uh, take Big Daddy to get uh the driver's side windshield put in because it uh, has a situation going on but anyways we got so much stuff done on big daddy we got all new brake chambers all the way around um we got the clutch adjusted we got the transmission fluids checked everything's good and we got cap brand new cab bushings because they were literally sitting on the frame on one side like the previous owner did not even the mechanic he told me he was like that previous owner didn't do anything to this truck they was just dogging it like we got new cab bushings so now big daddy is even sitting uh straighter um all new brake chambers, new tires, new brake pads on all of the uh, tires except for the steers. The steers were good. Um, we got the fan clutch rebuilt, uh, new coolant lines running through there, the new solenoid. It's a bunch of different stuff that we got done to it. Oh, the side lights rewire, all the lights work, and Big Daddy passed his DOT inspection. So now we just gotta get the windshield. He got his if the stickers, insurance, everything added. I cannot believe this. Like Big Daddy is literally <laughs> on his way to pick up. He will be picking up his first load tomorrow. So today I have to. Oh, he got a new train horn. A new, not a train horn, y'all. He got a new country horn because the old one wasn't working. So everything he passed his DOT inspection. We going to go, I gotta put some insulation on the door, uh, which I already have it, and put the panels on the door, put the visor back up where they installed the uh, the country horn at, and we gonna take Big Daddy to a blue beacon. Well, Jason will do that while he's out uh, with his load, and Big Daddy gonna get him a nice truck wash, and from there, you know, just keep us in prayer, you guys, because this year definitely was something else. The end of 2020 uh, tried to kick our butts, y'all. But just know this, we made it. <laughs> we made it to 2021. And Highway Divas will be uh, will be in our third year. This is our third year of our authority. This means a lot to me because um, I've had my authority before and I didn't make it past the two-year mark because of other reasons. So we, to make it past the third year mark without no uh, interruptions in my insurance or anything like that, I am blessed and I'm thankful. I've been able to, 
I was able to do so many things. And I wanna thank all of my drivers that I have on Great Wide Side because I don't think I would have made it this far in my business without you guys. So thank you so much. I feel so blessed to have every single one of you. Y'all think Jason falling in love with uh, Big Daddy. <laughs> Every time he called me, he gotta say something, talk about some. He just called me, talking about some. He tapped on Big Daddy, talk about some. Cut that out. <laughs> I'm telling you, he falling in love with that classic, y'all. Honestly, he likes uh, KW's uh, W900s, but y'all know I am a fan of the classic. And when I got the classic, he wasn't too much of a fan of it. But now that I done decked it out and put the floors and did the little cheetah print sheets and the chrome and all that stuff and the roar and it's, it then got oil changed and all that good stuff, he falling in love with Big Daddy, y'all. I'm going to have to repo my truck from Jason because I don't think he, I don't think I'm going to have to fight him to get out of my truck to get my truck back i think it's gonna be harder to get jason out of big daddy than it is to get trump out of the white house y'all i don't know he falling in love i gotta tell him don't get too attached you know what's going on people this is the first load we're on to take it uh, i'm in my mid trip now <laughs> the windy out here. I picked this load up in Dick Queen, Arkansas. It was ready last night, so I just slept there. Now I'm going to uh, go to the house and take my 10 hour, 10 hour break there. But here she is, she's out here. It's the first load.